Hello. Oh. So hello YouTube. Welcome back to the channel again. More enshrouded. Oh, have we been building? We have been building for two days solid. So we're gonna go have a little quick cutscene. Let's get building.
All right, yeah, so there you go. The building begins. I mean, it's going to be epic. I think I've, I may have just sort of thought, oh my days, how many days is this going to take? So obviously the further I go down here, the bigger the walls are going to get. Now all I want to do is really go down to the end and incorporate the back of the building. But obviously that's just the front of the wall. The back's still to be built. And, you know, I've only got a couple of days to do it, so... Yeah, this is going to be mental, but I'm going to enjoy every minute of it, to be honest with you. There's the sun falls down over and over. Another two days of enshrouded. I've been up here six, seven hours a pop, at least. At least these guys have got their rooms. They're all happy building. He's got his room. I think the only two we've got to do now and give room to is obviously uh, the magician. Farmer's in here. She's happy. She's growing her seeds. I want to get some peppers going. So obviously we've got this coming out here. Her garden's coming along nicely. We've got all of these. We've got all the strawberries over here. The well in the back there with the tree. I'll get her to grow some more trees. We'll plant some more trees around, but this is going to be absolutely awesome. I never thought I'd say it. But yeah, all happy. Obviously, we've moved them all out. I do like this wood effect. It works really well. But obviously... Right, where's my building hammer? Backpack. There it is. So there's my orange line. So that is how far I can go in. Because we've done a couple more. I've upped the grade of it. Um, so our line goes right around here now. And we drop off this cliff a little bit. So it is down to there. So this could be this is going to be very good. Underneath here, I think, is going to be where we keep the magician. The magician has got to go underground. I've got a load of luminous block. And I think that would be the best to do. Um, I've still got to find somewhere for the hunter. I think I might build her another shack, but I wanted to get this wall started because then I can sort of fathom out. I think that's all going to be fields over there with flowers and around the back there. Um, obviously, we've got this down here, so I'm going to use this. I know it is one problem is once it's in your, um, your building area, Obviously, anything you use stays like it. I mean, look, I've decimated this cliff just getting flint and limestone, is it? I think it's limestone. I can't remember now. Uh, do I have any on me? What is this? Copper ore? I think it's limestone. Let's have a little dig. I'll tell you. Limestone. It is limestone. There you go. So you need limestone. Limestone and wooden planks seem to be the main one if you want all of this or the refined brick or the very nice brick that I'm using on there. It looks like it's damp. It's got a bit of a feel to it, I think. Um, obviously, I'm going to use... Um, what have we got? It? Have we got it on me here? No. It's... I can't remember the name of it now, to be honest with you. I'm having a bit of mind blank. I've just been building for the last two days. I'm feeling a bit drained, to be honest with you. Uh, where are we? Let's have a look. Yeah, so he's going underground. I think I'm going to build like a secret door or something, maybe under the stairs, and then just dig down, and we've got this whole area under here to dig out then. That'd be perfect for him. E, where are we? Oh yeah, this one. The mycelium overgrown block. I might use that on the back because that's more towards the shroud. So I, you know, just sort of blend it in a little bit. Doors, got doors, got bone block maybe underground as well for the wizard. But yeah, we've been so busy. That's what I mean. This is just epic just doing anything like this this is going to take some time but i'm going to thoroughly enjoy it i mean that's just that's what i mean it's just the outside skin got some candles going but it's just 
And I said I'd never use a grappling hook on the towers, but <laughs> it so does help. It gets you up there so much quicker. Um, I've got to just incorporate this wall in here a little bit because obviously my line stops there, so I've got to build a bit more there. But I wanted a huge entrance gate. I don't know if we'll ever get a door that big, but you know, I think it works. It's going to be the house on the hill. You're going to see it for miles. It's a lovely, it's such a lovely game. The shroud is pulsating down there. It's like a World War Two scene in the distance. Bombing runs. Everything's been decimated by the shroud. Battering each other. We've got banners up. I think if I can get a courtyard of banners around here, I think it'll be amazing. But yeah, I thoroughly enjoyed it. I just... The building aspects in this game are just... Oh, that's the moon. I thought there was something cut there on that hill. Um, yeah, the building aspects on this are just it's just mind-blowing. Absolutely mind-blowing. I mean, I would like to see a few more curves when it comes to bricks. Because obviously, like in the door entrance there, I'd like to have a curved entrance. But I can't seem to find anything that's doing it. If there's any hints or tricks you know, please leave a comment. Let me know. That would be most helpful. But yeah... If you want to continue seeing me build this, please leave a like. Let me know you're interested. We'll keep going. I'm going to keep building. I'm going to. It's it's going to be my hobby. It's going to be my little pastime. This is. I'm going to absolutely thoroughly enjoy it. We're not going to go out. Oh, that's bright over there. That moon tonight. I'm sure it'd be this way at some point. Um, but yeah, I can now incorporate this whole hillside. I mean, I don't know how tall we can go. There must be a a limit on how tall you can go but at least at the top of that tree there's the line up there so I'm assuming we're nowhere near it yet but just being up here the views you get yeah don't worry about the scaffold towers they're useless honestly because when you stack one on top of each other you can't get up the next ladder there seems to be a little glitch of it I don't know what it is still got plenty to do up here I was going to put a stairwell in the middle here but I'm just going to fill this out now but look at these views absolutely amazing this would be epic though imagine it tower all the way around the back of that I'll end it on that corner because obviously it drops off and then I use that as a back escape but this is my main keep this is the bit that I wanted to be standing out I've got copper on the front I'm building up bronze but obviously the little courtyard down there. I just think it's going to look really nice. I'll fill it up with trees. Oh, it's going to be a proper little fantasy area. This is. And as long as I don't decimate my altar again. We'll be safe from any beasties. But they've all got a bed in these. Make it all comfortable. I can jump in any one of them. I've collected a load of books and plates. And we put candles up. And. Finding resin's a, a nightmare, but I have found a place. So when you first come in on Brailing Bridge, on that right with all the trees there, where we camped in that first... Where are we? In that first area. There's Brailing Bridge. That's Brailing Bridge there. Is it? Yes, it is. So up here... Yeah, there's the ancient fault where we've got the blacksmith. So all the trees in this area, if you go with any brown trees, they produce the resin. But I seem to find this little area here is great for getting resin. You'll come back with at least 70-odd when you decimate all the trees there. And with the bronze um, pickaxe I've got, uh, pickaxe, axe I've got now, it just doesn't take too long to mine anything. So yeah, we've got a hillside to cut into. All this to cut into... I just think oh, it's going to be lovely. I'm going to join it up. There's going to be fences everywhere. We're going to put loads of barrels down. We're going to give it some aesthetics. We're going to dig right in. And this is still early access. They've got so much more coming in in Shrouded. I don't know if you've seen the roadmap. Maybe I'll put a link up to it. But they are just so engorged in this game. There's been updates every day. I'm not joking. Even if it's a few megabytes here and a few megabytes there, it's it's showing they care about the game. 
So I'll just like hats off to the, you know, the developers and everyone in this. It's such a beautiful game. Thank everyone for watching. Please just leave a like. Uh, let me know you want to see more. Um, obviously, we've got plenty to do here. It is a short one today. I'm just letting, showing everyone what I've been up to, how far we're coming along, and this is what 48 hours breaks and whatever else. But yeah, the last two days, Saturday, Sunday, obviously full time working. So come back we get as much as i've done uh, there is another horror on the channel to come out so i've done that as well and then we jump back into this need some more lights down there but and that's on the outside skin <laughs> what if i let myself in for it's going to be absolutely amazing but thank you for joining me i hope you all have an enjoyable weekend um catch you on the next episode signing out